I don't even know why I'm here. Wait, what'd you say? I don't even know why I'm here. After all these years together, you don't know why you're here? All we have, Marvin, is all of these years. And it's just not enough. Anymore. 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 Let me say this, too, because this has to be said, Mr. Sometimes you can outgrow your partner. Sometimes you can outgrow your partner. Let's say you and I were not conscious, and we met, and we came into consciousness, and we start studying and learning about who we are. Okay, and let's say I'm Christ out. I'm not picking in the crib. Let's say I'm Christ out, or, you know, I'm addicted to Muhammad, whatever the situation is. You've moved on. You're growing. You've gotten beyond the whole religious Bible and say, but I'm still there. And I'm still wanting you to go to the church and go to the mosque. And sometimes you might go, but sometimes you ain't feeling it. You're not condemning it. You're just not there no more. Sometimes you got to cut knees free in order for you to continue growing. And some of us fail to realize that in this life journey, in this life journey, Sister Nikki, you may outgrow people. I meet parents all the time in the schools who wait till their children graduate from high school, and then they get a divorce and they go their separate ways. No, they don't hate each other. No, they didn't have strife. No, they're not enemies. They just come to the conclusion that they've grown apart. It's not always a bad thing. If you are trying to reach God consciousness, if you are trying, you know, to, to, to reach a higher level of racial consciousness, there's a strong possibility that you may outgrow your partner if they're not there. I meet brothers and sisters all the, all the time who say, Brother Uma, I think I'm outgrowing my mate. I love him. I love her, but... I'm not where they at no more. You know, they still into the Super Bowl game. You know, they still into going to all the concerts. They still into hanging out with the girls. I used to be there. I was in the same social circle with them. I knew them since middle school. I still love them, but I need somebody who's on my level now. It's difficult for somebody with higher consciousness to spend your life with somebody with lower consciousness. Why? Because your partner is supposed to reinforce your level of consciousness and help you grow. And I'm saying that to say that when a man walks away from a woman or a woman walks away from a man, sometimes they have to because you're about growth. And if you have a partner who's stagnated, you've got to move on. For example, in the uh, chemically addicted population, you know, I do a lot of uh, speaking at the halfway houses with brothers and sisters in recovery. And I often run into this where, you know, we dated, we, we uh, got hooked on drugs together, we got off drugs together, but she keep going back. He keep going back. I'm beyond that. I'm trying to open a business. I'm trying to buy a house. I'm trying to do something for Africa. I want to open up a school. Like, I'm not there no more. But Brother Umar, she don't want to move. And guess what? You got to cut the baggage. We do outgrow each other, and it's not always a bad thing. <laughs>